Welcome back to the Conspiracy Outpost. On this episode, we will be talking about a major study of UFOs conducted by the United States Air Force. I'm, of course, talking about Project Blue Book. I'm your host, Casey. And I'm Mike. I'm Juniper Joe. Jupiter Joe. Who's Juniper? <laughs> and I'm Mars Matt. Wait, then Mars say? Matt? Martian Matt. Project Blue Book. <laughs> Not Blue Beam, like I looked up because I'm an idiot, but uh, Blue Book. Blue Beam is something completely different, which we'll get to later. Yeah, that's actually... Um... That's actually the the female swor- uh, Smurfs. Uh, <laughs> no, Project Blue Beam is essentially preacher. Sick. I'm not oh, kidding. Well, like the grail? We're like the grail? talking about Project yeah, it's Blue essentially Balls. The grail. So okay. we're gonna talk about that later, which is gonna be fucking oh, awesome. Yeah. But uh, Project Blue Book is the one that I wanted to do, and I looked up a completely different fucking conspiracy earlier. Um, although Blue Beam sounds alien, so. <laughs> What it, it is what it is. Yeah. So, They're both alien related. <clears throat> All right. Project. What do we know about Project Blue Book? Um, well, the Blue say, Book. Uh, it, it's an operation know. ran by the U.S. military to um, cover up and shoot down the UV- UFOs. Correct? What, what, or am wait, I just saying, Mike? Sorry. To cover up and shoot down UFOs. Yeah, uh, the, well, the, the threat level. Are you talking about Blue Beam or Blue Book? Blue book. Blue, 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 blue book. We're talking they about were, blue book tonight. <laughs> okay, I was just wasn't sure if you're still still on that. So, like blue, uh, blue book is uh, they were trying to identify what the fuck was going over them. They don't, they they never knew what was going on. I don't know if they ever shot anything down. Of course, they're not going to fucking admit if they did or not. I was just actually talking about the Roswell crash. Well, I mean, my just just recently, just keep in mind that we're in the uh, middle of February recording this. Just recently. They've admitted to shooting stuff down that they don't know what the fuck it is. 2023. Yeah, February 2023. <laughs> the U.S. has admitted to shooting uh, multiple things down around Montana and, and Alaska and Canada that they don't know what it is. But I've heard one of them was like some person's weather balloon project. <laughs> <laughs> some project. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know what's going on with that. Fair. You know, they could be the government be like, no, we know what this is. It, it was a science fair project. It's like, yeah, sure it was. You you, 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 you think I'm going to believe you, you piece of shit? You've lied to me Little so Jimmy many kinda. times before. Fuck you, government. <laughs> Little Jimmy kind of. Government is that, like that one chick that keeps cheating on you and you keep believing her. <laughs> that she won't do it again. <laughs> yeah, and then she strikes you with an STD called poverty. I'm only yeah. with her and for out, security. And once you're in poverty, you're like, God damn, my balls is just- itch. <laughs> my piss burns. What the fuck is going on? I keep coughing up blood. Why am I yellow? <laughs> so uh, uh, you 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 back. stay with her no matter how many times she fucks you in your ass. Damn, pegged. For some people, that's the only reason why they stay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but fucking amen. Um, yeah, the reason we, we we're doing this at this time, we move we moved Blue Book up a little bit just because supposedly three unidentified objects were shot down. Uh, at the beginning to mid February in 2023 by the U S government. Um, there was also something that entered the Alaskan radar that was not picked up by NORAD, but was picked up by low, uh, radar or sonar scanners, something like that. And was shot down above Alaska, which is like, what the fuck got past our NORAD shit, you know, our long distance missile defense system. So it's like, there's been some weird shit going on. Of course, for all you conspiracy theorists out there, it could just be the government trying to cover up the fact that they poisoned an entire section of the U.S. and part part of Canada. But that we'll probably get to that later. <clears throat> false, it's actually the false, bl- uh, false flagging the the UFO, so people's uh, don't look at what happened, the- Ohio. Yeah, it's actually they're Ohio. covering up the uh, biggest uh, porno in history. They have a clone of uh, Adolf Hitler and a clone of um, Walt Disney up on an air balloon fucking. And then when the Chinese caught wind, they shot it down. It's like back to the lab, <laughs> <laughs> back to the drawing boards, boys. 
When did the Ohio spill actually happen? I think like a week ago. Maybe two. See, today a, was the first day that I actually seen anything about it. I haven't seen I think it was a week ago. But like it, dude, I was seeing videos of fucking journalists being fucking arrested for trying to, to fucking cover it? Yeah. Not yeah, kidding. See, like, I haven't, shit, shit's I haven't fucky. seen anything about it until today. It was just I'm like not, I saw I, like, I saw some stuff happen? that that people in Canada are seeing it seeing the oily slick in their water on their on their lake shores now in Canada. And that like there was acid rain and shit like that. But um let, let's get to the the thing that they're possibly trying to cover this up with, which is UFOs. So uh Project Blue Book is no longer in commission. It got a it ran from 1947 to 1969. And during that time, there was a total of 12,618 sightings that were reported to Blue Book, and 701 of them remain unidentified to this day still. Uh, when, when did it end? Uh, 1969. Mm. So all the, one, all the ones after that, <laughs> all the sightings after that, then... Well, I'm sure they. I'm sure the government probably still has some shit going on that they're not telling us. They'll come out. And fucking is, is it just years called later. something different now? It's like we got to change it. They know. It's called like <laughs> green, green book or something. <laughs> it's, it's called, called green Project, Project, Project Project Green Little Journal. Green Men. Little Green Men. They'll they'll never suspect it. It's way too fucking obvious. <laughs> <laughs> That's but what like, I would, I would throw that because out there. there has I'd be a been, smart ass. Especially recently, in recent the last five years, there's been a lot of confirmed UFOs. Um, now, keep in mind, this UFO is not does not mean alien for people listening. It is unidentified flying object, which is anything we don't know what the fuck it is. They actually um, call them UAPs now. Yeah, unidentified aerial phenomenons. Yeah, uh, well, I it was which like e- even the fucking uh, a member of Blink One Eighty Two when he is quit the alien? band when he quit the band, he's like, I'm searching for aliens. And his his video was one of the first videos ever authenticated by the Pentagon to be like they 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 authenticated it like you got a UFO on video congratulations and then he went back to Blake One Eighty Two he's like I did my part time to go make some more punk music you're welcome America yeah <laughs> let's rock the stage like really that's what happened they fucking got back together he left the band did that shit and then he came back <laughs> he's like guys. I gotta leave, cause I, I deep down somewhere, there, deep down there's a part of me that wants to know: Is there life out there in other worlds? What does this mean? Are we alone? And then he leaves the band, and then he discovers he's like sick. And yeah. He comes back, and then he quits, and then he comes back to Blink. <laughs> it's even said that like he might have conjured the uh, the UFO to get into view by playing. Yeah, music. he's actually really yeah. in. He's actually really. Uh, the aliens are really into um, Blink One Eighty Two. Show me yeah. what they, you got. They love. They love pop punk. They really do. Um, yeah. yeah, they they have like emo hair. Oh, they were, like, what you got. <laughs> this is the best place on the, in the galaxy to listen to some pop punk or goth hair. I don't really know. You, you guys know what I'm talking about, like that. The emo like, hair. Like, yeah, the emo hair, fucking in one eye, and they're just sitting in space, like. Playing air guitar and shit, just fucking. Man, listening. I don't even want to get pretty up much, today. Pretty much the hair that probably most most of us in our age group had in high school. Oh yeah, in yeah. our age group, I was. Gonna I, say I had some. Boy. I had some swishy hair. I had some bangs. I know I'm Casey not. did. I know. I never did my hair all. I never flipping my hair all the time. I had a um, yeah. flipping the hair be flipping. Like Matthew's hair still long. Hair. I used to straighten my so hair because I have curly hair. But it's not emo hair yeah. long. It's more of a. Hippie. I want to get my hair pulled while they're in pigtails while getting fucked at in the ass by my right, UFO log. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, yeah. I can get an A. If my teacher didn't bang me, I want to get... <laughs> what? The hefty one, Matthew? <laughs> Shoved you in her whole pussy. My grandma bought <laughs> Matthew uh, hair clips and hair ties, like girl hair birthday. clips and ties for his birthday one time. <laughs> nice. She did. She did. We, I would have been happy with that, man. Even though I didn't start like uh I didn't start putting my hair up until after Decorating. I got out of high school. Um <laughs> stop giving a shit. <laughs> but uh so nineteen sixty nine was the end of this project. And what this project was just to cover up UFOs, that's it? Or what was it exactly? Is the level it was, it, it was oh, I'm sorry, I was just Go gonna ahead, say, it was also to measure the level of threat. They, there was oh, a, okay. 
Yeah. So I mean, it wasn't just necessarily to see if they're it, down see thing. If, yeah. See if they're serpos or assholes. Yeah, I, I'm sure. They basically just wanted it. Well, obviously, that's all I was gonna say. Is basically they just wanted to identify what was coming up and if they were a threat to our national security. And so then, Project that's Blue why... Book was probably headed by researchers, not not author authority. Well, they were they were okay. So the <clears throat> well, compared to like in through it, the... if it was set up by a, a government organization, it'd probably be ran by a research team, not the Men in Black who came and silenced people, right? So, yeah, probably not them. I'm sure they probably, if they were studying the UFO yeah, stuff, I'm sure uh, that it might be. The men be, in black would probably sh show up, silence people, collect information, bring it back to the researchers or call the research team yeah, out, right? So they they basically, yeah, to determine yeah. whether they're a threat or not. And then secondly, to determine whether or not um, they're exhibiting any unique scientific information or advanced technology. Mm. That they that could contribute the, to our scientific or technical research. Okay, so like the Project Blue Book would probably also go and check out the certain meteor crashes or whatever to yeah. it's, to it's uh, like, uh, to check out but less to, racist to check out what minerals and stuff were in whatever fell to Earth, right? Yeah, or if they just they just go if someone sees a sighting, they'll go out and talk to them and see what the fuck. What they saw, how they saw it, what it looked like, where it was, time, blah, 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 all that shit. They get yeah. all the details they can. All right, here. Um, this, and this thing is definitely have... still going on. Definitely. It's, it's probably just not called that. It's probably just an actual fucking branch of government now. It's probably just done by the CIA. Project Little Green, man. I told you. Yeah. If okay. you go, go search that up, it's going to pop up. And it's like, the, they're like, I can't believe that somebody actually looked this up. It's way too obvious. Yeah. <laughs> What were you going to say, Joseph, though? Oh, that there's three phases to uh, to the program, how the program's conducted. I, I, well, let's I, hear it. Oof, boy. <laughs> Casey, do you have it written down? <laughs> no, I don't. But I was actually, if you want to read them and a little okay, summarize okay. real quick, I have a couple little paragraphs about stuff before Project Blue Book is a couple other projects that were precursors okay. to it. Okay. So it was conducted in three phases. Um, the first one um, includes receipts of the UFO reports and the investigation of them. And um, the Air Force Base nearest the location of the reported sighting is charged with the responsibility of investigating the sighting and forwarding that information to Project Blue Book's office at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio. So essentially, transcript of what the fuck was exactly seen. Yeah. Scramble just to find it, try to find it, and then send the report to the feds. Yeah. So, um, if uh, the initial um, like findings doesn't reveal a positive identification or explanation, then that's when the second phase comes into play with the more intensive an an analysis, where um, they. Um, Fuck me. <laughs> um, oh, damn. That sounds so kinky. Second, yeah. Um, uh, That's they, they would have a, and gentlemen. a more intensive <laughs> as uh, conducted by Project Blue Book office itself. Each case is uh, objectively and scientifically analyzed. And if it's necessary, uh, all of the scientific facilities available to the Air Force can be used to assist in arriving at an identification or explanation. So, um, yeah, all the personnel associated with the, the ongoing investigation analysis and evaluation, uh, efforts of the projects view each report with a scientific approach to an open mind. I read that really weird. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> Yeah, so the second, I, I don't know. It looks like they just pull out all guns with the with that one. Um, then there's the third phase, which is the uh, dissemination of information concerning UFO sightings, evaluations, and statistics. This is accomplished I by like the Secretary of the Air Force Office of Information. And the Air Force the, defines the unidentified flying object as any serial object which the observer is unable to identify. So it's, yeah, like Mike was saying earlier, which we all already knew, but I mean, for those that don't know, 
just anything flying in the air. I mean, it really could be. I'm not saying that it's all air balloons, but or fucking hot air balloons <laughs> or whatever the fuck. But I'm saying if it was, it could be a fucking. I mean, modern day, it could be a drone with a fucking big middle finger flag on it, and that's a UFO. They're like, what the fuck <laughs> is that? <laughs> Got a big middle finger flag flying across with the. You know, it's funny. The <laughs> In the middle finger, it's the uh, Chinese flag. It's like, God damn it. <laughs> Do you know what's funny? It's, uh, so, um, they said, uh, all these, all these balloons are being shot down, supposedly, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden they say that on any number of days, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of balloons up in the sky. And, uh, I was like, I was like, you guys are really going to go with this balloon story again. You guys have done already done this 50 fucking years ago and you're going to go try to do it again. How are you? How stupid? Like, I don't know how stupid you got it. Like, I get there's probably weather balloons up there, but you can't just I, I'm sure the military knows what weather balloons look like on a fucking <laughs> radar. If it comes well, up, it's not like they're like just all of a sudden they're like, where the fuck are these things? I've never seen these fucking balloons before. Is these this are- tinfoil? And that's why I brought up the Roswell thing earlier because I was talking to my father-in-law about it. And I was like, if you go look at that picture of that guy who found the crash and you see the picture of him, he's holding the fucking shit up and he's like, this isn't the shit that I was holding. Like, his face is like, this is such bullshit. Yeah. It's like, who the fuck? Who the fuck done popped a balloon out here? This isn't what I saw. They have a, um, (laughs) they have example objects like, um, I'm assuming that they frequently seen, which were missiles, balloons. There we go again. Uh, <laughs> birds, uh, kites, searchlights, aircraft navigation, anti anti collision beacons, jet engine exhaust, condensation trails, astronomical bodies, and meteor meteor. Oh my God, meteorological, meteorological. phenomena. Those beers hit me faster than you. Nice. <laughs> Are mistakenly reported as unidentified flying objects. Um, the bird thing is what fucking kills me on that because it's hella funny. What the fuck is that? Shoot it down. Pew. Fucking dropped at the bald eagle. What'd you guys do? Alien? It was an alien. And they just kicked the bird <laughs> in the bush. <laughs> Must use its damn camouflage to just, get away. <laughs> it's a bird. It's a plane. No, wait. It's a shit. Uh, alien. <laughs> Sir, what is a bald eagle doing in the middle of nowhere in Ohio? Don't ask me, son. That's God's work. We should close this operation. Down. Yeah. <laughs> call it a call it a wrap. We don't need people asking questions. <laughs> Just gonna dig too deep into this. Um. So what 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 else you got on on this uh, whole blue book? Bitch? <laughs> yeah, so, when can we read it? Oh, it's coming yeah. to a uh, library Air near diary. you on Amazon. Yeah. Uh, it'll be on uh, Audible, anything, anywhere you get your books. It'll also, for those diary. of you who thought this was going to be a conspiracy it. on, on car prices, today. we're not sorry. You're stupid. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Show me the car facts. <laughs> All right, here he is. That's a fox. What? <laughs> He's an alien. It's like, bro, how are you gonna fax a fucking fox? Is that I don't know. That's a, that's his, that's, a that's his fucking <laughs> alien. Her, we can see her. Alien fox's technology. alien power is his only power is to give you a decent price for a vehicle, like a fair price for a vehicle. That's all he does. There's a there's a guy at a dealership. He's this middle aged uh, balding price. balding man with a comb over, wearing a fucking suit with a tie half undone. He's just like a mess. And it's like, come on, just buy the car. All right, yeah, no, it sounds great. Show me the car fax. Oh, what? <laughs> I mean, the Carfax, we can talk about Carfax all day long or, and he touches his leg. We just skip the car sex. I really need to. <laughs> <laughs> I just might. <laughs> <laughs> sir, sir, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to leave. Uh, sorry, I'm going to have to go do a different deal. How many, uh, how much, the, uh, like, man, what's the like mileage on that this mountain? week? What's the mileage on that pretty mouth of yours? <laughs> <laughs> I, I really need a uh, SUV. Um, you know, because you know, I have I have a big family. Well, can I have can I see the Carfax? Well, how about we skip that? You ever had sex in a SUV with a man? <laughs> 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 well, no, not really. But let's just skip the Carfax. <laughs> let's, see can, let's see if we can knock some of these, these dents out by getting rough and rugged in the back seat. These are the only facts you need to know. You can be whole spread eagle back there. Let's uh, continue with this. Um, so. 
before there was Project uh, Project Blue Book, there was two other projects that were like precursors to Blue Book, and there was one called Project Sign, and then it was uh, oh no, it was Project Saucer, and I think it was changed to Project Sign, or was Project Sign saucer. changed to Saucer? I forgot which way it was, but the it was an official U.S. government study of UFOs undertaken by the U.S. Air Force again, and it was active for most of 1948. And uh, that was this one was a I precursor to Project Pro, I'm sorry, Pro, uh, Project Grudge. Yeah, that's the that's next the one. one. That that was the and one. So I was gonna the uh, the goal of Project Sign was to collect, evaluate, distribute information about UFOs within the government, and uh, on the premise that they might represent a national security concern. And then Project Grudge is the next one, Joseph. I don't know if you wanted to. Oh no, I don't. I, I just one. knew. I just knew that the names, not the details. I thought that's what they were called oh. before. I didn't know they were uh, past projects, like the, the fucking predecessors or whatever the fuck to um this one. Yeah. yeah. So Project Grudge, it was a short-lived project by the U.S. Air Force again about UFOs, and it came after Project Sign, and then Project Blue Book was actually next after that. And then uh, that one ended in 1949, and but it continued still working at a minimum capacity until 1951. And Project Grudge was intended to alleviate public anxiety over UFO and persuade, uh, persuade the public that UFOs uh, consisted nothing uh, consisted of nothing unusual or extraordinary. UFO sightings were explained as balloons, conventional aircrafts, planets, meteors, optical illusions, solar reflections, or Dude, even large wait, hailstones. And they is actually, that actually their mission statement is to convince people that that's what it is? Yeah, like it that, says, that's it their was mission to alleviate statement. the anxiety, <laughs> alleviate the public's anxiety over the UFOs. Why? The fuck is that, man? <laughs> Casey, you left out a you left out an important detail. After Grudge in the early nineties, they um they activated a new one called Operation Grunge, where they tried to distract everybody with grunge music. I, yeah. I knew you were gonna make a grunge joke. <laughs> I was waiting. Yeah, for I know. I, I fucking yeah. Uh, that all came to an end when someone allegedly shot themselves. Um, yeah. Well, he's actually well, the alien is, and he transcended. The original, the, lyrics, the original lyrics were, they're actually alien inspired. And so the, they edit them into just nonsense. So the leader, uh, not the leader, I should say, but the, the director Overlord. of the program. Yeah, Overlord. The director, <laughs> the Overlord of the program was uh, Captain Edwards J. Ruplet. And he was J. involved Ruplet. in a few, he was involved in a few other UFO projects as well. But I thought it was just cool to throw this. Well, I mean, that was kind of important to throw in there. But I thought this little tidbit was th cool to throw in. One he was second. the... To, to throw things back, like, Ruplet kind of sounds German. Um, what are the chances that these guys are German scientists being involved in this thing? Uh, I don't know. Going, off of, into them, going but... off of what we talked about most recently being opera Operation Matchbook and Paperclip. Hmm. Yeah, but that would that would make sense though, especially if uh if it's in the sixties, yeah, fifties, sixties. Well, he was a so he was an experienced uh, pilot, and uh, he was decorated for his efforts with the Air Corps in World War World War Two, and then uh, he earned it. Shut up. He earned a <laughs> Air <laughs> WW two. Shut up. The only thing you've ever been decorated in is cum. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> God, on me. It was, I'm it was sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, no, he, but he he's oh, the one I guess yeah, he no. that guy that guy was the one uh who coined the term UFO. He's he's the one who came up with it instead of oh, no. people were calling it flying saucer or flying disc and So what, not only was he hella that. smart, but he was a trendsetter. Yeah, yeah, he was <laughs> he he made that he was fucking trending, man. Still yeah, to this day. He's like, check out that UFO. <laughs> The what? The UFO. Like, not only did he come up with <laughs> that's the That's what he actually called it, but he wrote it down like that, and people yeah. just started calling it UFO. But it's like, not only he's like I don't know why they keep calling it this. UFOs, but he's <laughs> also the the same person who thought to put ice cream in root beer. Trendy. <laughs> he was very trendy, yeah. He was actually the first person to break his ankle on those new, like, uh, what is it, those moon shoes? Oh, the moon bouncers. Yeah, rock, rocks. He, he was the first guy to break his ankle on and say, "Fuck this shit, I'm suing." <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'm so I'm sorry, Casey. That that thing that I said was fucked up. No, that was hella funny. <laughs> and uh, I guess uh, he he ended up writing a book too called The Report on Unidentified Flying Objects, and that's where he described the studies of the UFOs conducted by the U.S. and uh, snitch. An American scientist, Michael D. Swords, wrote that Ruplet would lead the last genuine effort to analyze UFOs. That was a hmm. quote that uh. So this guy was like the so. la- the last the last person in charge. So this was near the end of Operation Paperclip. Or no, this pa- he was Operation he was the, he was the no he was the first one. He was the first director. They had a few. They had a oh, couple but, others. But he was him. he was the last say. So he like all the shit went to him. Well, I think he was Is the that last that one meant? that was like. I think that he was the last one that had like the passion. He actually wanted to find okay. these things, actually see what they okay, were. Okay, so he wasn't just them. some dumb bureaucrat. He was he he, he yeah, had he, a, he a stake was in, in to, what he was doing. Yeah, um, I think he was he was actually genuinely uh, intrigued by them and wanted to know. M- they maybe were someone wanted who possibly to wanted to to identify UFOs to possibly get more information on them and spread the information instead of just shut it up, right? Yeah. I okay. think yeah, I think he just wanted he just he just wanted the information like he wanted the facts. So he he, he was a, he was an academic. He wasn't a fucking bureaucrat. Yeah, it, well that's that's the that's the my interpretation of how I feel like that. How I'm well that, that's him. what but I'm getting off my, of what you're saying. Um, yeah, so that's what that's how I feel. That's how he was. So like this this spot. this guy is like uh he he. He, I mean, he wrote a book about it, so he's the one who's telling people about this stuff instead of just covering it up. So he is, he's 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 uh, he, he's more towards academic leaning than than politician politician leaning, in my opinion. Unless he just wrote a book to really throw people off, and then he's straight up the best politician that ever lived. <laughs> and by that, I mean a liar. <laughs> a great liar. Well, about that Rupert. <laughs> about that Rupert. <laughs> no, I was just, I was just reading more about a uh, Rupert. Okay, so I guess he was terminated from the project. And of course uh, he was. He's an academic. In 19, 1953 for temporary reassignment, and he returned a few months later to find his staff reduced uh, from more than ten to two subordinates. Uh, frustrated, Ruplet suggested that the Air Defense Command Unit, the 4602 second, uh, 46, I don't know how to say that, 4602 Air Intelligence Service Squadron to be charged with UFO investigations. So charged they went in there, they cut his, they fucking kicked him it. out, cut his fucking funding, removed everything, confiscated probably tons of stuff and then we're like hey you can come back now and he's like you you done fucking scrap my whole project where's all my fucking shit yeah so the, said, feds, what the, feds, shit? the feds probably he fucking <laughs> did the book to inform the natu- the fucking the people and then the feds went in and were the other feds because he would be a fed went and in and were like, like no, 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 no 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 you don't you don't inform people on stuff and then took all of his fucking research like in the fucking thor movie when Shield like goes in and takes all the fucking research on the fucking Asgardians, damn dude, so they're holding Thor. Hostage. I mean, right? Yeah, is that is that essentially what you just described? <clears throat> I know yeah, that it's... it was like, it was it was in like legal terms and stuff like that, but essentially they went and fucking they took everyone who mattered. They left him with a couple subordinates, and they did they did it say that they took paperwork? It just uh, they they reduced his whole his whole staffing. They didn't say that. They didn't openly say that they fucking confiscated his works, but I'm sure if if you if you get temporarily reassigned and then you come back and your department's fucking an eighth of the side of that, uh, like, well, like a fifth of the size it was, then I'm sure you're not going to have all your records. They're going to, oh, oh, you guys could get the downsize. They made it where he couldn't operate. So they're like, oh, thank you for everything you've done. We're not going to, we're not going to like, they're not going to like, hurt him or you know throw him in prison or anything else like that but they're going to take all his research give him barely enough resources where he can keep looking uh but stay he's stuck looking and he won't really they got everything they wanted what they year was his what year was his book released and what yeah. year did he get they, yeah, they took his telescope gave him binoculars um, like, i want to know if looking. like after he published his book if they were just like what the fuck and reassigned him immediately 
to fucking get everything he could use to possibly. Is it, uh, ni- 1956? Is it the report on unidentified flying objects or a different one? I'm trying to, I forgot what I said it was, but I think. Because that's what it, it, when I, when I, my intuition tells me that he published the book and they went, what the fuck? And we're like, you're, you're being reassigned and then gutted his department. Yeah. The report on unidentified flying objects. Yeah. It says 1956. And when was he reassigned? And I got to go right back, scroll back down to his, uh, when he was reassigned. Give me one sec. If it's 1956, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. 56 it, was, uh, and 57. 50, it was 1953 when he was uh reassigned. Oof. So my theory does not months years. later. Yeah, three, three My theory later. does not hold up. He wrote his well, stuff afterwards. The book was published. Yeah, but the book was published three years later. So I mean he was Or yeah, he he yeah, he no. I mean he he could have been writing it for a while. Maybe they were like, All right, fuck you. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. They're like dick. Well my my theory doesn't hold up then. Um with what I thought, but still like, dude, this guy seems like a cool dude. So far. Yeah. He I mean, so far. Fun too. He, see, he definitely seemed very organized. <laughs> I mean, I, I was like reading stuff about him and like out of, um, was, uh, I, I don't know. He had everything fucking in the, Oh man, I can't talk right now. <laughs> Just leave That's me upsetting. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Well, let's let's continue. What else you got, uh, Casey? So in uh, 1954, this would be at the during the time of uh, well, I don't know if it's during the, no, because well, depending on when he was reassigned, but. Captain Charles Hardin was appointed head of Blue Book, and although he was the head of it, the 4602 was still conducting most of the UFO investigations, and that's the that's the division that Roop was. Yeah, it's the Air Force. Yeah, it's the Air Force division. Probably the people that go out, fly around where these uh, objects are determined to be. And then by 1955. The Air Force decided that the the goal of Blue Book should not be to investigate UFO reports, but to minimize the number of unidentified UFO reports. And then by the late 1956, the number of identified sightings have dropped from the 20 to 25 percent uh, when uh, Rupert was in charge to less than one percent. Went 1%. from reporting to cover- covering it up. Yeah, and that's, that's when they started Operation Ban. Big ass net. They just have a big ass net over the- <laughs> <laughs> <Reel> it. <in. laughs> Dude, that's that's fucked that the whole mission statement changed. And just what? And then just five five years later, the whole fucking thing supposedly disappeared. The whole organization project supposedly disappeared. They went underground, bro. That's all that happened. They're secret- yeah, every like there was a few of the directors and uh like uh, people who were appointed to the head of blue book and all their, all their efforts after, um, after Ruplet left was basically to minimize the amount of UFO reports basically that are coming in. They, instead of investigating them all, they wanted to. Yeah. Now the operation just leaks out enough information for you to know there's something out there, but won't give you any information, a real tease. And it's uh, actually now called uh, project blue balls. Yeah, which actually, dude, that that actually seems like something the government would do, because they would always let you give a taste, get a taste, just to to quench your conspiracy theorist balls, um, <laughs> j- just just to keep you occupied, so you don't look too deep into what they're actually doing. I, I don't know if you and Matt think like that, but I know me and Casey do. <laughs> I mean, I mean, people hide. Shit I mean, I, y- y- y'all, no. you, y'all been doing fucking conspiracy shit for about a for about a year now. In April, it'll be a year. Um, so it'll you guys think it, you guys thinking like paranoid fucking dumbasses yet? <laughs> <laughs> like me and Casey, I I uh, look at everything through a fucking uh, whatever lens. I, I'm more. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm more. Into a like, let's look into it and find out thing rather than at the beginning when I was just 
See, I'm of the mind that when they tell me something, I say, why do they tell me this? Are they hiding more? But I'm not like to the (laughs) paranoid level, like my, my coworker who it's like when, uh, the, the weather was fucking flooding everything. He was like, uh, uh, it's just a shame. And I, and I looked at him and I was like, huh? And it's like, these are fake pictures. They're not real. And it's like, I've seen these flooded areas. (laughs) I drove past them. Like, (laughs) But uh, yeah, it, it, I'm not on some fucking like where every single thing is fake. But I, mean, I just I, think I, about it. Is it I, worth hiding? And if it's worth hiding, then maybe. But if it's something that some people think everything is a conspiracy, but I look at it, is it, is it worth hiding? Because if it's not worth hiding, then it's not a conspiracy. Yeah. I some only th- look at, I, I look at, I look at it like, um, yeah, are they dumb enough to try to hide something that just doesn't really matter? <laughs> and it's like, part of me, it's like, yeah. Because I mean, it matters in the sense like, oh, there's other life out there. But it's like, but why? Why are they trying to hide that? And it's like, oh, they might have some stupid thing that involves religion and keep people to a fucking uh, to a religion following the religious order of rules. It's like God says this and that. And it's like, well, God says that we're the only living creatures in the universe, and we fucking see these green little men running around. It's like heathens. They're demons. They're not aliens. This is a, this is hellbound creature. Uh, I I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of them trying to keep order with things on like a, a religious lawful standpoint. But I mean, I don't know. There's a uh, there's a famous UFO case that was uh, part of Blue Book's uh, Blue Book's. Uh, I don't know if what I said made any sense. By the way. <laughs> I was trying to get at if people were trying to keep law and order in like a religious sense, it would make sense why they would try to. Hide dude, you're going to love Operation Blue Beam. I swear, dude. Oh, yeah. See, that, that's the kind of stuff that I'd definitely be into. I mean, if it's like the grill stuff. Oh, dude, yeah. it is. So this, uh, <laughs> this UFO encounter was the, it was a Portage County UFO chase which began about 5 a.m. near Ravenna, Ohio on April 17, 1966. Police officers Dale Spur and Wilbur Neff spotted what they described as a disc-shaped silvery object with a bright light emitting from its underside about a thousand feet in al- uh, altitude. See, I know you're wrong there because I remember that one. They're like, we have an unidentified flight, uh, flying object. It's a white Ford Bronco. <laughs> <laughs> You guys no, but that they... ever, ever, <laughs> fucking OJ when he went on his chase in a white Ford Bronco. <laughs> 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 Sorry, go ahead. But uh, they began to follow the objects, which they reported sometimes descended as low as 50 feet, and police from several other jurisdictions were involved in the pursuit. The chase ended about 30 minutes later near Freedom, Pennsylvania, about 85 miles away from where it started. And Are then you? the the UFO chase made national news. The police submitted the details of the reports to Blue Book, and five days later, following the brief interviews with only one of the police officers, but none of the other ground witnesses, Blue Book Director Major Hector Quintanilla, <laughs> Quintanilla? <laughs> yeah, uh, announced their conclusions to police. Uh, one of them was an Air Force gunner during the Korean War, had first chased a communication satellite and then the planet Venus. That was oh the God. that was their uh, <laughs> their conclusion. They, that's what they said that all these people were chasing for fucking eighty five miles was a communication satellite in the sky and uh, the planet Venus. And then obviously the officers oh, were saying what? that they uh, they rejected those things. They said. Uh, they don't agree with it. It's absurd. And uh, they said, well, it's a common mistake because Venus is a bright star in the sky, you know? like <laughs> It's like, bro, are you fucking driving a rocket ship? No, you're chasing something in the atmosphere, dumbass. This thing, they said it was dipping as low as 50 feet. Venus yeah, that's not, not Venus <laughs> then. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. I mean, they could have been lying about it, but I doubt that you can get different all these cops from all these jurisdictions to all get in on the thing on the, on the, what the hell is that thing? Scoop. Oh, it's Venus. That, that ain't Venus. Yes, it is. Look how close it is. What is it? The fucking He's, moon from Majora's of course mask? It's Venus. You see that penis? <laughs> Look at the penis on Venus. <laughs> Rockard. 
So that same director that I was just talking about, he, uh, I guess he wrote a manuscript, and I guess it wasn't uh, published until after his death in 1998. But I guess he personally said he he believed that it was arrogant to think that human beings were the only intelligent life in the universe. But he also thought it was highly unlikely that intelligent life existed beyond Earth. Hmm. So he basically just contradicts. He says it's yep. he says it's arrogant to life. think there's no intelligent life anywhere. Um, but he says it's very uh, it's highly unlikely that intelligent life existed beyond Earth. So he's saying it's arrogant to say that it doesn't exist, but it it doesn't exist. He, he might mean that the, it's Earth. arrogant to it's, think that there's not some like kind of primitive life out there, or like just like um, like something alive out there, but not something that's as fucking I don't know advanced or, or more advanced. Yeah, than us. but I mean, then again, you just said that he said uh, intelligent life. It's arrogant to not think there's intelligent life. So yeah. I mean, he said intelligent life when he yeah. So he did contradict Call, himself. No, he just called himself dead. stupid. He just called himself stupid as well. Yeah, yeah what I was he, he basically just doubled. He just like went around he and down the same shit he already believed. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, if you don't believe in aliens, you're stupid. But there ain't no smart ones out there. I will tell you that, but <laughs> if you believe in smart aliens, you're stupid. <laughs> if you don't believe in smart aliens, you're stupid. But then again, there ain't no smart aliens out there. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on a rocking chair, waiting, fucking <laughs> rubbing his hands together while he's saying it. Yeah, dude, we already have aliens here, and they're called octopuses. Yeah. Octopi. Wait, how do you say the fucking octopi? Octopi. There we go. Octopi. Octopuses. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's the plural. Oh shit, an octopi, and it's an octopus that looks like a three point one four. So when uh. <laughs> So in 1966, uh, there was a bunch of UFO sightings in uh, Massachusetts and uh, New Hampshire, and it ended up go being a congressional hearing by the House Committee and Armed Services. And according to the airport, uh, the Air Force, I mean, not the airport, according to the Air Force, they had first stated that the sightings were a result of a training exercise that were that they were conducting in the area. But the and I. NICAP, the National Investigations Committee on Aerial Phenomenons, reported that there was no record of a plane oh, flying yeah. at the time during this uh, the, during the time that the sightings occurred. Good old kneecap. What does that stand for? NICAP. I just said it. Wait, what? The oh, National you... Investigations oh, Committee I'm on sorry. Aerial Phenomena. I'm sorry, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I was thinking of kneecap the whole time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have an e. <laughs> All right, and then I'm another report go. alleged that the board. UFO was actually a flying billboard advertising gasoline. Damn. <laughs> now a quarter a gallon. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess uh, there was interviews who saw the Air Force like Air Force officers, they were confiscating newspapers with the story of the UFO and telling them not to report what they've seen. Police officers who had witnessed the UFO, Eugene uh, Burnett and David Hunt, wrote a, la a letter to Major Quintanella stating that they felt their reputations were destroyed by the Air Force for basically just saying that they, they're they idiots. <laughs> you were chasing a fucking planet, man. Dude, and people but uh, officially, Blue Book is uh, ex like uh, they have identified and explained ninety five percent of all the UFO sightings <laughs> that they were reported. Um, okay, so during uh, in the mid nineteen sixties, that group, the NICAP, they uh. They, I guess they charged the United States government with the cover-up of UFO ev uh, evidence. And then, obviously, a congressional hearing happened, and they were like, oh, there's nothing extraordinary happening, so you can't really try to charge us with anything. Well, naturally, <laughs> they covered everything up. <laughs> it, it, it's like, hey, you're lying about what? It's like, we don't know because you covered it up. Exactly. Is it Was that admission? No, 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 no. That wasn't on the record. <laughs> 
Yeah, I guess uh, there was a a review that was done by an evaluation review, like an an evaluation report that was Mm -hmm. done by the University of Colorado entitled The Scientific Study of Unidentified Flying Objects. And then it's basically they just were, they just did a study and it's like, oh, what is the purpose of us studying these if they're no threat to national security? If they're not, if it's in, if it's not important, and it's not a threat to us. Why are we wasting our time on it? Basically, and then it got, and then that peer review is one of the reasons why the program got shut down. But well, or you know, obviously maybe change to something else. But they they always talk up the blue book sightings as a result of mass hysteria, people who fabricate the reports to, you know, get publicity, get that clout. And uh, they say people who are psycho, uh, psychopathic, psychopathical, ah, I can't say the fucking word. Psychopaths, people are the reason why. And then misidentification of just normal, conventional objects. Psychopathical, says, I think is the right way you say that, isn't it? Is that how, I, is that how you say it? I, I'm not. It says psychopathological. Psychopathological. I, I, I think no, it's I a think study like of it. abnormal. Oh, I can't even. Cognition, behavior, and experiences that differs according to social norms and the rest. But that's what they're of, saying. Sure. That's what they're saying is the reason for these reports is people being crazy. Essentially. I well, that's why I, anything that has psycho in it, I just assume it's crazy people. But it's just basically people who are outside the social norms. Yeah, because yeah. Uh, psychopathology is the scientific study of mental illness or disorders. Uh, or, um, so people. that it's a broad term to dis- to discuss people that just have shit wrong with their head. They're saying that these people psychopathological are and shit like that. Yeah, that there's something wrong with them. Basically, back when they used to lock you up for little things like being a commie. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Oh man. Um who are saying this stuff are just crazy, but it's like Yeah, they're saying that they're, they're in, in, in today in today's society others. we've noticed that we have video of shit, so it's try yeah, to call modern- them crazy now, motherfucker. That was my freaking, hold on, uh, hold on one sec, Joseph. You're you're super. Wrong. I was trying to say, um, I brought this up. I forget which podcast, but I was saying it's hard to cover things up nowadays when we live in a society where you can just pull out a fucking computer out of your fucking pocket, or you live in an age where you can just pull out. There's people who can who control social media, so it depends on who's in charge, really. Yeah, but I, uh, I don't know. I'm. You could still hold that picture into your phone. Oh yeah, you you could yeah. show people and show people throughout your town. Other people can talk about it. It could end up all over the place, like in the news, like shit like that. And then you got things like WikiLeaks, where they fucking leak information all the time. I mean, that that might be yeah. monitored too, but I don't know. There's ways to get the world is a very very small place now. It, it's not hard to hide things. I mean, it, it's hard to hide things. It's not hard. Oh, my God, dude, I can't talk. It's hard to keep secrets with shit now. If if an alien started flipping around here right now, I can get a picture up, and a couple people are going to see it posted before it gets taken down. Yeah, it's not going to be shut down right away. And it's like, I get we're being monitored constantly, which we are, but it's like, you know how many incriminating things get fucking sent through online and nothing ever happens about it? I don't know. People are watching, but it's a lot of people. You also got to think that people that are involved with like fucking shady shit are also just people themselves. And they're just sitting there watching stuff. It's like, I don't really care about this, dude. The guy said he's going to kill somebody tonight. He has pictures of blood on his hand. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm, just trying to, I'm just trying to get home. They don't pay me enough for this. That's the society we live in. Everybody's like, I don't get paid enough for this. Yeah. <laughs> just don't do anything. I think it's, uh, I think it's my pretty FBI wild. Agent, I think my FBI agent just jerks off to the same porn I do. 
<laughs> Most likely. That's how they pair you up. In which, yeah. case, he's a, nope. in which case, he's a sick motherfucker. Who's into fucking amputee porn like that? You guys ever? You guys remember that South Park episode where it says the guy he the TSA guy? And he's like, <laughs> oh, the fucking yeah, the fucking yeah. guy watching everybody on the toilet. You know yeah. the new seasons out? That's two episodes out right I've, now. I've watched it. They've been great. I, I haven't watched the second episode, but I watched the first. They're being one. sued for the second one. Are they? Yeah. Fuck! What's that one about? The oh, By, uh, it's about Meghan the Markle. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's about it's about Prince, Prince and, Harry and Meghan yeah. Markle. They're, but they're, they're doing it yeah. Canadian instead. Yeah. But the prince looks just like the prince in real life. Yeah, they're, char- they're oh, characters, Canadian. though. Yeah, yeah, they're characters. And um, it's hilarious. That's funny that he's suing. What a bitch, dude. If somebody yeah. did something like that to me, I would laugh my ass off. Me and Casey were saying earlier, we'd, we'd be honored. We'd be honored. Yeah, it's, be it's, it's not. By it's, South yeah. Park. yeah, it's an honor. Really. Um, I'd be I like, I wouldn't even voice act him. Yeah, lay it into me. All yeah, I'd be like, annihilate my character, bro. <laughs> I laughed that Ike was upset about it because all Canadians, yeah. American or not, are upset about it. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, do we have any, you know, final thoughts? What is it? Well, I was gonna, I was gonna tell you about the oh, yeah, the Air okay. Force thing and then tell you about some other shit. Well, fuck quick, me right we in my ass. We can thoughts. just go ahead and delete what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> Did Mike hang up? Are you still there? He doesn't love us anymore. He's hungry. I'm still in. I'm still in. Okay. So I'm just going to tell you some of uh, the results of the investigations from the Air Force with their things. Like their conclusions were, they said that they found no UFO reported, investigated, and evaluated by the Air Force has ever given any indication of a threat to national uh, national security. There has been no evidence submitted or to be discovered by the Air Force that sightings categor- uh, categorized as unidentified represent technical uh, technological developments or principles beyond the range of present day scientific knowledge. And there has been no evidence indicating that the sightings uh, the sightings categorized as Id- <clears throat> unidentifiable are extraterrestrial vehicles. So basically, they're just saying anything you're saying is none of what you thought it was. And then what I think is crazy about this is because back in the day, they had their little Congress meeting of talking about UFOs and whatnot. And then just not even last year, in the first time in like 50 years, they met and started talking about UFOs during the Congress meeting again. And I watched that whole thing. It was like an hour and a half or two hour long thing. I watched it all. And at the end of it, I remember because we did a podcast a couple of days later and I was like, watch, you guys are going to start seeing a bunch of shit about UFOs and stuff because they're going to start trickling out the alien stuff because now, look, now they brought it into the public limelight. And then every day since that day, I've been seeing nothing but fucking alien space stuff. We've had advances in technology that have boosted so much more. There's uh, We're currently seeing sightings. Things are getting shot down. So I think either, either they're covering something, they're trying to false flag us with some shit or something major is happening. They're not telling us yet if it's going to be happening, but like, I don't know. There's, there's still, there's a lot of shit that's going on. That's unexplained right now. And then the government meeting just to even talk about aliens. Like what's the point? Why give the, why give the public the time of day? If it's all bullshit, you know, like what's the point? Why waste the money? Are, Are we, are we wrapping this up? Is this our final thoughts? Yeah, these are our final thoughts. Okay, because I want to address that directly because I I, I forget what I read, um, like or probably last year, I, saying I, saying I was, that there was going to be a big thing to do with aliens. It was just some post, and I was just like, huh, you know, like you know when you sometimes see stuff in like a conspiracy forum, and they'll be like, oh, at Af- because the thing is like, oh, right now the vaccine is keeping you distracted. And then this is going to be this, then that, just to distract you from what's Everything actually going on behind the scenes. And like, I saw one that was like in, in 2023, it's going to be aliens. I was like, okay. And then lo and behold, here we go with some <laughs> fucking aliens. It don't take much to distract people. Just release the new iPhone. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like, the deeper I get into reading about conspiracies because of this fucking podcast, the more I go, God damn it. <laughs> Why is shit turning out to be right so They're often right actually- now? Like, what the fuck, man? Like, I've been telling people, like, this is just a made up number, but it's like, it was like, conspiracy theorists are like 42 and 0 right now. Like, bro, 
it's getting a little kooky. It's getting a little fucked up. But with with all the shit that's going on right now, which I brought up at the beginning with the the whole shit in Ohio, and now there's the fucking UFO shit. It How makes me know? really wonder whether it is a distraction or whether some shit is actually going on with some aliens. Or if Drew Carey's an alien. I think I think some of it's fucking a distraction <laughs> with shit because well, it was when uh, it was when Trump was in office, and after that whole fucking bombing of uh, whoever it was, right after that, they're like. Hey, uh, we have proof that there's aliens and whatever. And it's like, and it's military people that are proving it. And it's like, come on, dude. Nobody else is seeing that. This is like a distraction of what just fucking happened. People are getting all fucking whatever. And it's like, oh yeah, Trump did that shit. That's crazy. Hey, look, but look, the Air Force has seen aliens. They're coming uh, forward. And it's like, yeah, they've actually known it for years and years. And nobody is like, well, why are they telling us just now? It's like, oh, dude, I knew it. It's like nobody, whatever. That's what it's like. They're going to start releasing information. Everybody's going to line up outside of a radio shack with the uh, tinfoil antennas waiting for their time for uh, their pre-orders <laughs> of fucking alien information. <laughs> Very Overlord. Sick. But no, it, it's, I don't know. The, the way that it started coming out was during fucking like big things. So, I mean, it, it's definitely a, a distraction, but whether it's a false distraction or not, like, I don't know. To me, you, you always got to think about that, though, because, yeah, again, like like I said earlier, it's the government is that is that one bitch you want to believe in, but they keep cheating on you. Yeah. But I mean, it's the government telling you that uh, there's alien sightings and they're just randomly telling you. Now. Yeah. It's the government saying, no, this ain't another man's dick in my mouth. You go, I could see it right there. And they go, nah, bro. You yeah, mistaken. And they tell you, hey, look whose dick's been <laughs> in my mouth for years. Oh, why are you just now showing us the dick? And it's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, it's, it's the same shit like it, all this stuff started coming out during like hella shit like during times that you need to distract yeah it's them. like oh turns out there's a international fucking elite sex trafficking ring aliens aliens <laughs> Epstein's Island aliens yeah aliens. who was on Epstein's Island doesn't matter dude the, the Air Force just told you they seen uh, objects going hella fast past them Aliens, no vaccine. Aliens. <laughs> 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 fucking, fucking <laughs> fentanyl's Oil killing rig. everyone. You can't stand six feet together. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Oil rigs blowing up aliens or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> or gas line, whatever the fuck. <laughs> Pipeline, bad. Pipeline, there we go. I was saying gas line. I was like, wait a minute. Now it starts with P. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> like, if you, if you remember that South Park episode when they talk about, uh, where they do that joke about beer commercials and how it's like, drink, 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 yeah, pussy, drink, fuck, drink, yeah, drink, 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 drink. Please, <laughs> please drink responsibly. No, dude, yeah. it, it, it's like if you think about it, you want to keep the nut jobs in check before you keep everybody else in check. So you got to yeah. tell them about the aliens first. Mm, nut jobs. And then they say it saved the second economy. <laughs> the second, they, then they worry about the, the second craziest people in the country. So they save that know, for like the second Sundays round. Like They're going to tell the them that Jesus is, Jesus is second coming is is uh, upon us. Like yeah, and that is Operation Bluebeam, which we'll get into. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> they got oh, they, they do it in oh, Jesus. They do it in waves. First it's Jesus aliens, then it's Jesus. Then they're you gonna say that. Coming. Then they're gonna say that uh, Biden and Trump are actually from a. Uh, the last thing they're gonna reveal is that. The last thing they're gonna reveal is that uh, both Biden, Trump, and Hillary Clinton are all a part of this. Uh, uh, pray mantis alien race and then they're both they're all gonna have a threesome in hillary uh hillary Clinton. and that is about bohemian grove we'll get to that later <laughs> and she's gonna eat both of they their love owls let's just get on let's just say that they love owls did i say owls. hillary clinton before or did i say hillary duff because i feel you like said hillary, hillary clinton, clinton i believe it could be, both, like, no. <laughs> it could be both yeah wait but a minute hillary duff could be part of the prey mantis race well dude she's i mean the- she made she made how to uh, she's in how i met your uh father so she might as well be as evil as any politics Important so politics. matt what do you think of, or, unless unless you're not done joe Sif. no no I'll, <laughs> the only the only point i wanted to point out was that it's just it seemed like you know it, that these aliens uh like confirmations are coming out during fucking important like oh point. yeah oh yeah for sure what do you think but but i i'm not i'm not knocking whether or not thing. it's true or not like i'm just saying that if, if they decide now they deem now a good time to tell yeah. people about it i mean yeah, i'm not same thing. for it I'm not believing it's true either. I'm, I'm, but I'm not knocking whether or not it's real or not. Dear yeah, diary, 
I saw a UFO today. <laughs> and it was strange. Yeah, so you so you were asking about like if they if they just renamed it or whatever. So while you guys were doing some little final thought stuff, I, I looked up there's a there's a program that's called the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, and uh, that that was dissolved in 2012, but they acknowledged it in 2000 uh, 20, uh, two, 2020, and then they have a new one called the the All Domain and Anomaly Resolution Office. And it's an office within the Secretary of Defense, and it investigates unidentified flying objects, abnormalities, uh, phenomenons, and all that stuff. And that one was formed July 20th, uh, 2022. They just keep rebranding them be- themselves like some kind of has-been fucking celebrity. So I thought that was pretty cool, because I, I, didn't, I didn't actually look into that. But that's, that's cool that they just actually just made a new fucking whole thing just last year. So pretty much it's split down the middle like it usually is with me and Case being like, oh, yeah, um, like, dude, if this shit is real, it's real. But they're, they're a lot of the times they're probably using this to hide worse shit. Right. And then those two are yeah, saying, but- like, yeah, it could either way. It might be possible. Yeah. Uh, me, well, me and wait. Casey are definite with, with just like, yeah, they're fucking us over. They're doing something. Th- they keep a list of everything to unleash right before some major disaster happens. And then their big red button is like, ah, oh, dude, that we met with God. And we're actually there at uh, the rich elites are actually doing vacations in heaven and sipping tea with God. And dude, the throne and- I saw something <laughs> on a, a, a conspiracy thread last night that I was looking at. Um, Kraken's real. And it was supposedly a release <laughs> email from <laughs> Hillary Clinton. One of her emails talking yeah. about uh, Gilgamesh's tomb. And uh, a dead Nephilim, as if, like, angels are real. And it's like, huh, can't believe that. But, like, that's cool that someone took the time to do that. It was creepy. Creepy. But, um, yeah, so that was Project Blue Book. Kind of like Genesis's dad and preacher. They just haven't pinned up. Yeah. Yeah, that, so that, that's, what, that's Project Blue Book with our interpretation, our spin, and our stupid-ass, well, opinions on that. Um. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you didn't enjoy it, still leave a like. And uh, don't forget to comment, rate, do all that jazz-y shit. (laughs) Um, And don't forget to listen next week.